Next is Octavian. Octavian is one of the inspirations for this event. I heard him speak along with another Toastmaster from the club, two from foreign countries in the same meeting. And we, Tom and I thought, oh my goodness, what a shame that others can't learn about so many individuals from around the world. So Octavian, you were an inspiration for this. Octavian Garambe, uh -huh. talking about Rwanda. <laughs> Octavian, please. Thank you, thank you, uh, Connie and uh, uh, Tom. Uh, can you see my presentation? Yes. Okay, thank you, yeah. So th thank you again for organizing this uh, world event. Um, I'm from Rwanda, and uh, as you know, many people are, have hard time to know uh, where I'm coming from. Rwanda is a very small country. I hear my brother say Ghana, the size of Ghana is about uh, Oregon State. For me, it's about uh, Maryland, very small. If you see the map, it's very small, it's about 12 million. And most of people, uh, when they ask me where, I, I, where I, am, I am from, they think that I'm from Nigeria. So Rwanda, so now um, thank you for giving me this opportunity to, to talk about Rwanda. So Rwanda is uh, located in Central Africa and, uh, and the border is uh, on the west side is the Democratic Republic of Congo and the north is Uganda. East, the country is called Tanzania and uh, in the south is Burundi. So Rwanda is also known as uh, the land of uh, a thousand hills because most of the country is covered by uh, grassy hills. So if you visit the country, uh, the capital city of uh, Kigali, this is the main capital, uh, this is the Rwanda Kigali Convention. And uh, you notice that it is within the traditional way. If you see some in African country, they do have this kind of style, African houses. This is how we, uh, Rwanda built the, uh, its uh, a convention. And uh, Rwanda also, for those who who like to travel, Connie and Tom, so Rwanda is also known uh, is one of the three countries in Africa where you can visit mountain gorilla in the wild. So um, my brother was showing a monkey. This is the, the, the largest mountain gorilla you can visit, but of course it's not cheap to visit uh, gorilla. The fee is about uh, $800 or $1,000. And also you can visit, uh, if you, you, you go to safari, you can see lions, uh, cheetah, Impala, zebra, uh, all those animals. So, you, so Rwanda has a, a nice a safari in the countryside. Uh, so Rwanda, the capital as mentioned is Kigali, it has about 1 million people. And the president, if you hear his name is Paul Kagame, he is our president. The country has a political division similar to uh, Western country like US, we have like a three, uh, main political parties. As I mentioned, the population is about 12 million, but now it could be around 14 million. Uh, and also Rwanda population is among the highest in Sub-Saharan Sub Africa. How about languages? I remember my sister talking about South Africa. So Rwanda also has many languages. Kenya Rwanda is spoken as almost by Rwandans. 10 people, a percent of population speaks French. A small portion speak English. Uh, and every Rwandan speak many countries, I mean, many, many languages, a little French, English, and Swahili. And the uh, and intellectual people who are well educated, they speak French and English. Another thing you know about Rwanda culture, Rwandans are pleased when visitors like you try to speak Kenya Rwanda, the mother, our mother language, tongue, Amakuru. So you go there, you say, I'm a cool people, we like it. How are you? Or Muraho means hi. The uh, Rwanda religion. My sister also talked about Brazil, how they uh, has a lot of ch churches. Rwanda also, the Christianity has become a central part of Rwanda culture. Rwanda constitution guarantee right of citizen to practice a religion for their choice. Catholic, they are about 60% of the population. Protestant is about 30%. The Protestant church, if you go to Rwanda, you see Pentecostal. 
Seventh-day Adventist, Anglicans, Presbyterian, Free Methodist, and Baptist. Jehovah Witness is also uh, there, is one of the smallest Christian uh, de denomination in Rwanda, but tell me, you know, it's not very, um, I mean, it's, it's very small compared to other uh, uh, religions. And Islam also is very small, 5% of population. And the Sunni Islam is the most dominant form of Islam in Rwanda. How about the Rwanda food? Very delicious, organic. There is no chemicals, <laughs> right? Most common food, you will see sweet potatoes and banana and cassava. I'm sure my brothers in Ghana or other countries, they have similar uh, food. And uh, also the main uh, meal, which is very delicious, is called ugari, or, which is made of cassava flowers. It is very popular in Africa. If you go to East Africa or to South Africa, you will see the, this uh, cassava uh, ugari uh, or fufu. Another uh, meal, uh, uh, as mentioned, is matoke, the banana plantains you see on the right side. Very, very delicious. The meat, you can eat chicken, beef, pork, or rabbit too. Uh, you will see also if you like international cuisine, they are available in particular in the, in the city like Chigari. Uh, Indian and Chinese are very popular in hotel in Chigari. Uh, the fast food also are available like a KFC, Burger King, McDonald's in the city of Chigari or the other uh, cities also. We have like a two, three main city in Rwanda. Most common drink, beverage, banana wine. You talk about the grape here, but in Rwanda, you will like to enjoy the banana wine. Very, very delicious. There are also local beer in, the, in, in Rwanda. Other uh, beverage in Rwanda, of course, they are milk, wine, uh, as I mentioned, and the fr uh, fruit juice. Rwanda music, very popular. See that on the right side, which is very integral to Rwanda ceremony. If you have a wedding, uh, social gatherings, you have, uh, for example, birthday or anything, and the Rwanda is very social. You will see all the time on the weekend, people are enjoying having wedding or invitation and people are dancing like that. And also if you enjoy drums, this is a, a country I invite you to visit because you can go in and, and enjoy the drum and people uh, beating the drum. Those dancers, we call them Inori on the right side. Very interesting to watch. So, uh, Rwanda, I think I mentioned some uh, on my uh, uh, presentation. The Grand culture put emphasis on practice of etiquette that demonstrates respect and also social rank both inside and outside the family. Uh, the best chairs are usually uh, traditionally reserved for men, and visitors are given best chairs and eat first food and drink. This is in uh, the culture. And the Rwanda almost always shake hands upon encountering someone. So don't be surprised if somebody come and say, hi, Muraho. This is very popular in, in, our, in our culture. So greeting someone of high rank, you extend uh, you, uh, your right hand while placing your left hand on the right arm in sign of difference. And also close friends and the other of equal rank, you will see that um, uh, embracing each other. Rwanda society are regarded as uh, some of the most polite in the world. This is a happy, I have seen that on the website. <laughs> so Rwanda, as mentioned, is uh, growing fast in terms of economy. I, in, in the US, when you are very rich, you reach the plateau. But uh, this, th those countries like Rwanda, you will see the fastest is the place when the economy is growing fast. Five or seven, eight percent. I am economist. I know because when you have uh, uh, you are you are in developing you are a developing country, this is, you have a more opportunity to grow. But when you reach the uh, we are the, uh, the rich country like in the US or Germany, then you have reached your plateau. Your growth can be as one or two percent. This is the country uh, which is I mentioned is rising, a star is growing, is really coming from develop, as a developing country to really a modern country. And you have a lot of quality, people really enjoying life. Uh, and the, the city is very clean, uh, like Chigari, and it's a very nice place to visit too. Uh, this was my presentation. And then thank you again, back to you guys, <clears throat> Toastmasters.
Thank you, Octavian, for so much information. Thank you. Thank you. And I'll be practicing Amakuru. Amakuru, yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Thank you. Thank you.